Hi, this is uh, Kerry from Intent City Brewing Company. I'm just going through a series here of uh, Grandfather Connect videos. Here I'm showing you a completely reassembled version of a Grandfather that was declared dead on arrival. So what I'm going to show you is uh, initially how to disassemble this Grandfather. Uh, caveat, this will void your warranty. So this is a strictly a you know video to help you fix something. Here I'm showing five screws of the on the back of the grandfather. You notice that the back bottom one is a little bit bigger. So take these out with a normal screwdriver and keep them in a ball, but make sure that the big one goes in the bottom. This is the uh, disassembled screws. I've had them out, but guess what? There's two additional screws. I previously uh, opened this up so that you're going to see a little bit of very minor damage, and I'll show you how to fix that. You'll have to get on the top of the Grandfather Connect. It has a little panel up there. It's supposed to be watertight, so once it's open, you've probably um, broken that seal. You see in uh, somewhere between the three o'clock and six o'clock position on this right side where the heat button is, you want to lift that up. Now you can do that with a knife, a razor blade, or just a, a small screwdriver. Same for the left side, it's on the, three, uh, the nine o'clock, six o'clock. Here it is, I pull up uh, and show that little screw, which you'll have to take out. After I applied uh, some silicone to the underside of the control panel, I used a little bit of heat from a hairdryer. It's pressed uh, kind of firmly on the grain father. And as you can see right now, it looks almost as good as new. A little bit of residue which I was able to remove a little bit later in the uh, process. So let's look at this second video, part two, we'll get into the actual repair of a grandfather. Thanks.